Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Cagle, and we're going to demonstrate after you have a hip replacement, what exactly do you have to do with physical therapy to be cleared to go home? So most of the time after joint replacement, we do what's called a spinal block, which makes basically from the waist down, your legs go numb, and that lasts anywhere from two to three hours. So when we want to start thinking about getting you up to move and walk, what we're going to look for first is, is your quad function coming back, because that's the muscle that's going to support you when you're up and moving. So after the block starts to wear off and you're getting some feeling back in your legs, what we'll usually say is, let me see you push your knee straight down in the bed. And as you can see, the kneecap moves and the muscle gets nice and tight. Okay? So that means the block is starting to wear off. The next step what we're going to do is we're going to lift your leg. So just relax. I'm going to lift it up like this and I'm going to say, please keep your knee straight. So if you can do that, that tells me that your quad is functioning very well and you should be able to at least go for a walk and support your weight. Okay. So now that we've passed our straight leg raise test for our joint replacement, the next step is to work on getting out of bed. So our two wonderful nurses here will demonstrate what happens next. Okay, you sit up, we've got your gait belt on, we're gonna have you just slowly pivot your leg to put your weight to the side and sit on the edge of the bed. Both feet on the and floor. Just sit and look straight ahead. Get your bearings and once you feel like you're not dizzy, you can go ahead and push off on the bed and to your walker. Perfect. And now the next step will be to start walking. Okay, so now we've successfully gotten up and out of bed with our new joint replacement and our two wonderful nurses are going to demonstrate how to go for that first walk. You're going to want to lead with your walker and then your operative leg. Perfect. And now it's important to note that you can put full weight on that operative leg and use in the walker for stability. Excellent job. So now we've successfully gone for our first walk and the last phase to pass your therapy evaluation after having a joint replacement is to go up and down some stairs. So our wonderful nurses are going to demonstrate how to successfully do that. Okay, you're going to want to start with your non-operative leg up and then your operative. And again, note, you can put full weight on that operative leg immediately. Okay, now you're going to want to go down with your operative leg. Follow with your knot. And notice that he's taking one step at a time. That is fine. You can do that as long as you need to do. It, the main goal is not to fall. And when you feel comfortable being able to do two steps at a time, that's fine as well.